Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to the Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising Weekly Tarot Reading for March 18th to March 24th, 2019 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Gemini Star Sign and uh, for that reason, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread, but at the end, um, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and uh, in a different level with every single different Gemini. So uh, if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page of it, you're going to find full list of my services and as well their pricing starting from just as little as $12. And that is for a reason that for the duration of uh, months of March, I decided to extend uh, the reduced prices that were um, in place for the months of February to make myself more accessible to as many people as possible. So that set aside, going to the Gemini weekly reading here, the first card that it is about the topic of Gemini, that is going to be the Seven of Swords followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. Third card, which is going to be the positive approach toward the situation. This is going to be the uh, Chariot card. And the last one, uh, that it is the final outcome of growth. Sneeze alert. I may sneeze, guys, and I'm sorry if I do. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Okay. So that is going to be the nine of swords the final outcome of growth card so once again uh seven of swords knight of swords the chariot card and the last one it is the nine of swords so uh what makes impression here into this reading is that there are quite a lot of swords cards and what is swords it's mind uh to be honest when i drew the cards um Right now, I am kind of, I was kind of baffled when I saw the Knight of Swords on the second place here, things that you should not do, which is a bit of a contradictory with the, the first card, but all, come, all became clear when I drew the Nine of Swords as the final outcome of growth. So uh, this week, you have to be uh, Gemini's it's not even logically oriented, but more like oriented toward the universal laws. Okay, and I hope that I will be able to express you as accurate as possible what I mean with this. So going with the first card here, which is the Seven of Swords, this week is going to have such a circumstances that you will have to uh, basically stand for your personal rights and show yourself with a very, very strong spine, storming your situations, not allowing anybody to take advantage either of your kindness or of your good fortune as well, but instead demanding and requiring to be paid or to be compensated according to the efforts that you are giving into either of the fields that this card is manifesting itself at. Meaning, you know, um, you, in your relationship, you are the leading force there and the relationship is not balanced. So with this card here, you need to demand the accurate respect you deserve for that you are the driving force of the relationship. That is, for example, Career-wise, you are doing with way too many things which are um, beyond the contract that you signed for, all right? So that card means that you need to step up for your rights and either request for a uh, either promotion or increase in salary or say that you are no longer going to basically attend to things that you haven't signed for. It's, it, it does depend where this card is going to manifest itself, guys, the Seven of Swords. But this week, you need to kind of like define your place either into your career or into your relationship and make everybody around you aware that you are there for what you signed for 
or if not, you are going to get compensated accordingly to the efforts that you are incorporating. That's why you got to be, you got to have that readiness for, I, I don't want to say war, you know, but readiness for confrontations, okay? Because if you don't raise the alarm here, no one is going to give you what you deserve in the sense of that, you know, if you are way too kind and you help everybody at your career, nobody's going to really take that under consideration. Your boss is not going to increase your salary. Um, your the, the people that you are helping out is not going to be grateful as well. So you got to basically raise the alarm that it is because of you these things happened, all right? And you need to demand for that compensation. Same thing goes regarding relationships as well. It does depend how this card manifests itself uh, for you. Also, the card may regard to that you need to take a precautionary measures not to get light or as well robbed from the fruits of your labor, kind of like you may become a victim of uh, plagiarism, for example, or someone could steal an, an idea of yours. And on a very superficial level as well, the card may mean that you can be lied from your partner or from, a per or, or from people uh, that you have great hopes at. But that is only, you know, if you don't present yourself as one who knows how they stand and one who demands the accurate treatment or, you know, yeah, the accurate treatment, I think, is the term that we need to use here. So it, all, it, it is everything within your hands. If you are milder in nature and soft, then you're going to be played, you know, but if you are very with a very rough character, with uh, a very how can I place it? A, a huge sense of self-righteousness here, then uh, you are not going to lie to yourself the very least and, you, and you're not going to be lied by others uh, as well. So very, very important here, Geminis, that you know what you sign for, for throughout the week. The accompanied card that is going to be the hangman, the formation is uh, active neutrals. And in this specific case, uh, the, the, the shade that the hangman here adds is that you have to aim to, res to uh, resolve, it's not even issues, but let's say foggy and uh, very uh, uncertain situations where you have them. For example, uh, just giving you here on an example, guys, uh, you are talking with your current partner about getting married and having children and so on and so forth, but it is only talking. So throughout this week, you got to make your demands, you know, either we're going to get married, all right, or we part ways. It's, it's as simple as that. So you need to demand for straightaway results and answer as well. Same goes regarding uh, career regarding projects and uh, interactions with co-workers and so on and so forth. This card here points that it doesn't matter um, other people's uh, points of view. What matters is your personal points point of view. And as well, these cards are urging you not to waste efforts and uh, as well time into someone else's agendas and goals, but completely devote yourself to your personal goals and toward your personal agendas as well. So uh, that is the topic. So the topic is going to, uh, is asking you to be very, very, um, hard in character, if I may express myself that way. And uh, to me, uh, this card po these, these cards are pointing that no compromise whatsoever with personal expectations and needs should be, uh, should be allowed for throughout the week. And uh, so the next card that baffled me at the start, this is going to be the Knight of Swords. And uh, in... In his uh, param uh, parameters, the Knight of Swords is very tenacious and it's very pushy. That is something that you need to be. But the contradictory comes in where the Knight of Swords makes important decisions. So what the Knight of Swords is when it comes to decision, they do rely on their intellectual agility, which is something you got to do definitely. But also for them, that intellectual agility needs to be or that intellectual um, 
awareness has to be as well um, synchronized with their emotions. Straight away giving you an example of that, let's say that you lend the money into someone, okay? And uh, they gave you the timeline this week, March 18th to, Mar to March 24th. And uh, basically it's righteous for you to ask your money back but that person could come around and start whining how they are going to be left in poverty and so on and so forth. So having your emotions synchronized with the intellectual agility here means that you give an extension. You know, you feel bad for the guy. Or like these cards suggest, you demand for what have been owed. This is because how it works. They need, they should have made... Uh, the calculations more accurately, okay? And as a matter of fact, having the Seven of Swords, maybe they lied to you for the reason why they need the money as well, so you shouldn't feel bad at asking for what is yours. It is all that this card is pointing that you could be exploited emotionally not to be given what you deserve and what is righteously yours, you know, and as a good gentle soul and as a good gentle spirit you may agree to it which is something that you should not do for throughout the week <clears throat> and on top of that with the knight of swords um you could be uh, approached with it's something like a proposition really where you to give uh, help into a certain project or an undertaking regarding a social circle and so on and so forth where if you do so at the end you're not you're not gonna get a yes even single piece of credit for it so for that reason this is even displayed in the last card in the third card here excuse me which is point singularity whatever you do it needs to be determined by yourself it needs you need Need to have full control upon it. If the, something depends on someone else, it is highly advisable not to attend to it straight away in this uh, in this particular week. The accompanied card here with the Knight of Swords that is the um, Nine of Wands. Uh, we do have active friends, uh, and with this card, I do suspect as well that uh, you are going to um, or can, how can I place it? Uh, the exploit that someone may try to oppress upon you, Gemini's, is going to be as well based on previous experience. For example, straight away giving you an example. Well, remember when we were friends, you know, I did you that kind of a favor. So please return back the favor to me right now and so on and so forth. It's basically on a mutual experience is going to be found the exploit someone that may try to uh, to deviate you from your goal and your, from your agenda as well. Once again, um, with these cards, if you are a gentle soul, you may feel a bit bad, you know, denying this person or a society of people or, or for not helping them in any way. But uh, you need to know that at the end, once again, you are not going to get any kind of credit for your involvement in it at all. So for that reason, it will be best for throughout the week, you know, to attend only to your personal and private staff, mind your own business and the very best or the most is that you have to demand for what you deserve. So you are asked to, to take or to fix someone else's crisis into your career. Well, when you get their salary, this is where, uh, this is when uh, you are going to fix the crisis. It's something that, by the way, when I worked at a uh, full-time job, I said there, and that was, I was not very liked among the people. Uh, it is because when, if something fucks up and if I have been asked to help, I say, well, yeah, okay, when I take his salary, it is when I'm going to clear clean up his mess, you know, so, because it's not my business. It is what he or she is hired for. And, and that should be your standpoint and mindset for throughout the week. You take care for your own personal endeavors or mess and leave the others to take care for their mess. Or if you have been asked to do so, you demand for accurate compensation for it. But as well, you know, uh, with these cards, uh, Gemini's, it does look like that you are not compensated enough 
for what you are doing at this very moment. Meaning, for example, you do have a private business, you can increase the pricing a little bit, you know, uh, or being in a relationship, uh, the attitude from your partner, it's a little bit diminished than it, what it has to be, meaning that your partner should respect you a little bit more and so on and so forth. And you have to demand for it, which comes to the next card that is the chariot card which points to uh, collecting the luck of the hard work, singular work here, and uh, making approach toward wish fulfillment. So definitely with this card, we're talking about you doing things the way you want to do them and uh, things which you want to do and not what anybody else wants you to do as well. The chariot card asks for um, singularity or rather like... Uh, personal expression, if I may express myself that way, to leave your personal signature into your relationship or into your career so people can be, so people become aware that, yeah, you can be replaced, but your signature cannot be. No one can be just like you are, right? So, for example, if your partner is cheating on you or wants to leave you, they are sure, they, they are aware that they will never find someone like you ever again. So before they leave you, for example, or before they decide not to give you the accurate treatment you deserve, you know, <clears throat> they become aware that they could lose a, a big deal from it. But with the chariot card, should you once again push into this direction, where uh, you find yourself wish fulfilled and you collect the, uh, the, the luck of your hard work, uh, it's definitely a, a place where you're going to persevere and triumph because the chariot is about triumphing against all odds. So even if at the start, you know, you're demanding what's, uh, what you have been owed, accurate treatment, accurate compensation, and so on and so forth, face a bit of a resistance you can definitely overcome that resistance with the chariot card here and you should never give up you know with with this card here from uh what you think you got to be compensated with it is all about compensation uh this time around guys you gemini's it is all about uh compensation additionally to that uh, the chariot asks you to be unique with your performance, either career or either uh, relationship-wise as well. And uh, you have to be as well very proud of yourself and of your current achievement, which once again fits in the framework of that no one can uh, doppelgang you, okay? Yeah, you can be replaced with one person or another, but they will never be just like you are. And you have to extract from the positive qualities that no one else possesses and display them in front of the world so you can prove to the world or to your boss, supervisor, partner into relationship, you name it, that you do deserve more. And they, if they want to keep you around, they have to start giving you more. Uh, the accompanied card here, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, uh, and the formation is passive friends, and definitely we're talking about independence, and as well, uh, winning a huge amount of trust from the, from those that are around you, for example, uh, and for a fact, excuse me, that there are going to be as well people competing for your attention and uh, for your trust as well. As a matter of fact, with these couple of cards, they could also talk about reconciliation. It may not be romantic reconciliation. It could be a, a business reconciliation or a friendship reconciliation. They could, they could, uh, they are uh, pointing that someone who betrayed you back in the past or did not uh, fulfilled your expectations back in the past may try to do it once again. And you, even if you find it difficult to uh, give them a second chance with these cards, it is uh, best advisable for you to try to forgive and give them another chance because somewhere along the way you may need as well their help. But at the very least, these cards are pointing that your investments into time and energy to chase 
you know, the accurate compensation you have been owed are going to breed results should you not give up from it. Because the chariot card, once again, it points that it's going to be tough at the start. But the more time you spend and the more energy you spend chasing it, you can definitely uh, achieve that standpoint. And the last card for you, Gemini, this is going to be the nine of uh, the nine of swords. Uh, the final outcome of growth, you are going to, at the end of the week, definitely reach the root of the matter. Now, this card, unfortunately, does not tell us that this process of getting uh, the accurate compensation is going to be finalized at the end of the week. But with the Nine of Swords, you are going to know what kind of criteria needs to be uh, accomplished so you can uh, get that accurate compensation. Additionally to that, the Nine of Swords is going to, as a card of growth, is reassuring you for your uh, stability of the position, meaning that at the end of the week, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, it is highly unlikely that if your partner, for example, into, into relationship is um, <clears throat> Gouging, uh, gauging on another women or another uh, or another males are going to proceed with that, realizing that you are completely aware of what you, of what they're doing, and you are not going to tolerate that, nor a single moment further. And uh, when we're talking about career, it is highly unlikely from now on your boss to breathe within your neck, for example, because they will have full confidence in you that you can definitely deal with whatever task they have gave you as these couple of cards that we said are pointing here that you are going to boost your confidence, become much more independent and truly incorporate your personal signature into your endeavors. And the accompanied card here that is going to be the King of Swords. So additionally to that, the formation is active uh, supporters. Uh, the respect from others is going to be boosted, so people are going to respect you more and more as individual piece of the puzzle, completely independent. And as a matter of fact, with these cards, many will come to you for advice. And giving advice is a good thing, you know. I mean, people are going to depend on you on your um, <coughs> effective methods, okay? So you are going to be as well example. And the very least with these cards, at the end, a analysis is going to reveal the way out of difficulties. So whatever issues you face at the end of the week, analyzing them uh, thoroughly, through the prism of your view and your, uh, not imagination, but uh, your understanding and perception, definitely it is where you're gonna find the roots of uh, the issue here, or what is causing the issue, and a way how to resolve it as well. Should you act upon it, well, that is entirely, entirely your decision. Or, uh, while these cards are advising you highly to do so. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 18 to March 24th, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for Gemini star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Gemini. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and give you some prediction for it for the future, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find on the very front page full list of my services and as well their pricing, which are starting from just as little as $12 as I decided to keep up the uh, promotion prices for the month of March as well. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.